G'day agents, how are we all doing? Hope you're all enjoying the new season and all the new gear that it's brought. This is going to be my Iron Long build. There are obviously loads of different ways you can do it. I just like this way. Good crit chance, huge crit damage. Let's give it a run. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment under the video. I'll show the build after we clear this control point. Let's make our way up here. Hopefully without being seen. We are on heroic difficulty, one directive, and the reanimated event is still running. Okay, just break me already too. Yeah. Excuse me, can you stop hiding up there? damage already. Yeah. Right, let's just chop that over there this time. No healing people please. Need to get rid of that one real quick. That's a grenade. Heavily armored, hostile, detected. There's another one. There's a name guy. I'm guessing my backup's stuck in conflict somewhere. Poke your nose up. Okay. Ah. Don't like that fuel can right there. Oh shoot, I'm out of bullets. Didn't see that happening. Yeah, come inside.
Anybody else? That's in the back. Oh no. Serious trauma detected. Detected. Near the location. Guarded by hostiles. Heavily armored. Hostile detected. Which way is he coming from? All the way. Oh. One and a half million headshot. Damage. No, that's this all clear. These guys are going to be late to the show. Sounds like someone's stuck inside the supply room though. There it is. Oh, we got rogue agents. This would be interesting. They're probably not going to fall for that at all, but... Watch out for that sniper turret. It'll melt me. One. He's getting shot at though. That wire's in the way. Who do you see? Oh, that's you guys finally getting here. Oh, that's the rogue agent it's dealt with. How are we doing? <coughs> Didn't really give him half a chance to get to me, but... Who's picking people up? None of that. Call me? Detecting additional hostile contacts.
With the control point done too, eh? Might as well do a bit of everything. But there you go, that's the build. Or at least what it can do. What the road guys give me? Mozambique, nothing important there. Nothing important on the other guy either. Radio. Anyway. Class wise, you could probably totally run whatever you wanted to do, depending on how you did your iron lung build. Uh, I do have the firewall class on only because it gives you an extra 20%. I'm pretty sure, off the top of my head, burn duration. Grenades are totally your, your choice, but I have a cluster grenades on. I have a backup boomstick, which is totally optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. This guy is sneaking along in the background there. Uh, secondary, I just have the grown grade on. New gun from this season. Perfect stabilize. Firing a weapon gives you weapon accuracy and weapon, weapon stability. 1% stacks, or hits, I should say. Stacks it up to 75%. When you stop firing, the bonus resets after 6 seconds. Pretty much, if you use the gun and you're continuously firing, the reload speed's only 2.1 seconds, so you'll constantly keep it at 75 stacks. But other than that, it's just there as a placeholder. We'll get into the iron lung after we have a look at the gear. So, Walker and Harris, chest and mask, all reds as you can see. Weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage with a crit chance mod. I am using obliterate on my chest. All red again. Crits, increase your weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds, it stacks 25 times. It's an extra 25% weapon damage. Best in slot gloves, obviously, and an added bonus for actually using an LMG, but pretty much best in slot gloves for any build that you're doing are the contractor's gloves. Weapon damage, damage to armor, crit damage, and like I said, you're getting the bonus from the Petrov, you're getting the LMG damage. Again, best in slot knee pads, you can use these on any build. Um, you pretty much ignoring the fact that it comes with rifle damage you're taking it because of the damage to target out of cover crit damage weapon damage up top I am using Grupo to get my crit damage even higher crit chance crit damage skills wise are totally optional for you whatever your playstyle is I do have a reviver on just in case and I am using the decoy but again totally optional on what you want to do here now let's get into the iron lung the new LMG that we got this season. As you can see, I'm still proficiency proficiency ranking mine, but I did have to re-roll mine about five or six times, I think, to get the headshot damage off it and get damage to armor on the bottom. So keep that in mind when you get your iron lung, you will have to re-roll it to get rid of the headshot damage that it comes with, and mine took quite a few times to get it to roll with damaged armor on there. Now, the talent. Super handy, I found. I've been playing it for a couple of days now, but shooting the gun heats up the weapon, filling a heat meter. The heat meter is equivalent 50% of the standard magazine size so it doesn't matter if you make your magazine bigger by running two pieces of um, what's it called this stuff where is it mm, we don't want that anyway um, I don't have any on me uh, the Picaro's holster brand set what is that stuff I've forgotten it this stuff Brazos you run enough of Brazos two piece Brazos Three-piece Brazos, sorry. Or if you use the Ninja Bike, you can get two-piece Brazos. But you can get weapon damage, or your magazine higher that way, or by running True Patriots, you could do it that way too. But it, 
shows it's off the base magazine so at 85 is a full mag 42 and a half is essentially what you're getting so 42 bullets are incendiary rounds that's when your meter is full round shoot weapons bullets ignite enemies when not shooting the meter depletes over time reloading or swapping from the weapon will fully deplete this meter as well so you're essentially getting half a magazine of fire bullets which I found pretty handy to stagger with and slow the dudes down uh, it does come with crit damage, crit damage and the 30 round mag what I do find is quite slow on this it does have a 5.1 second reload time so if I could get that down it would make this gun a hell of a lot better I think it's the only drawback to it but that's it uh, as always I am over shade level 1000 so take that in account when you see the stats but 129 weapon damage 50 crit chance 173.9 crit damage 19% damage to armor so it shreds Alright, peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video.